You'll see. Teresa's gonna be out of this house tonight. And her sick marriage to Alistair will be over and we can move on with our lives. Well, honey, I really hope you're right. Whoa, what? Excuse me, what? Where'd you get that? It's my mother's. It helps her dull the pain in her don't, crisis. Don't be crazy, all right? You don't even want to go down the road. Hey, why not? You know, nothing else seems to dull my pain. Honey, my life is a living hell right now. You know, no matter what I do, Teresa always seems to plant herself front and center in our lives. I cry, I scream, I pray. Honey, I actually pray that I won't have to worry about losing you and Jane. But nothing seems to work. You are going to be fine. Teresa is leaving. You have been saying that for weeks and weeks, right? But yet, always at the last second, something seems to come up and prevent her from leaving. I am not going to be able to let my guard down, not for a minute, until I know for sure that Teresa is gone out of this house and out of our lives for good. You know, I don't, I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to do to, to get through to you. I told you over and over again that I'm not going to leave you. I know you have, and believe me, I try over and over and over again to believe that but don't even look at me like that i know her honey no matter what crisis pops up she always keeps her eye on the prize you know you told her now now you've told her you're going to help her escape and you just watch she's going to try and con you into going with her she's got this crazy fantasy in her head about you and her and little ethan and jane living together in some tropical paradise while i get booted off the island no gwen don't be like that, okay? Yes, I told her that I'd help her escape. Doesn't mean I'm going with her. I'm going to help Teresa and Little Ethan get off the grounds. I'm going to get them tickets to go somewhere. I'll even arrange for them to have a safe place to stay. But I'm sticking here with you. Well, good. I just can't wait to, you know, until they're gone. I mean, really, both of them. Wait, well, what? Little Ethan, I mean, you you said you loved him, Gwen, right? I do. I love him. He is a wonderful little boy, and I have loved getting to take care of him. But, honey, if he's here, that also means that his crazy mother is here and hanging all over you. She has been trying to force you to bond with him since the day he was born. She even named him after you, for God's sake, and you're not even his father. <sighs> I'm not his biological father, Gwen, but none of those things are his fault. I know that. But she has been dangling him in front of your eyes as living proof that she can give you a family and I can't. Don't... Do you have... Don't... Do you even have the first clue of how hard that is for me? Remember, it was her violence that caused me not be able to have any more children. And our daughter isn't even biologically mine. She is yours with Teresa. So I do not see Teresa as a human being. I see her as some robot with one terrible purpose, which is to take you away from me. She will be gone tonight. There is nothing, nothing that can keep her from leaving this house. As soon as she gives me the word, Gwen, I am helping her escape.